Hello and welcome to Megger's technical support videos, where today we will be discussing the Delta 4000 general hardware description. Here we can see the Delta 4000 is comprised of two separate units, the control unit on the left and the high voltage unit on the right. Let's go through their individual ports. Here on the control unit is the input for main power between 100 and 240 volts. Just above this are the communication ports. On the bottom you have Ethernet and on the top you have USB. These ports are used to communicate with an external PC or for external control of your Delta 4000. Next we have the PC control switch that determines if the Delta 4000 is controlled internally or externally. If you have an onboard computer and the switch is in the right hand position, the Delta 4000 can be controlled by your onboard computer. If you do not have an onboard computer or wish to control the unit externally, the switch should be placed in the left-hand position. Here we have our test ground lead. The termination is locked in place by rotating clockwise to ensure a solid connection, while the clamp is placed on the ground of the device under test. It is important to note that to perform a power factor test, all grounds must be common. At the top left of the control unit panel, is the open ground LED. If, if that is illuminated, it indicates an open ground. Once this LED is off, proper grounding can be confirmed and the test can now be performed. Here we have the interconnecting ground, ensuring that the control unit and the high voltage unit have a common ground. This is the high voltage cable that provides power to the high voltage unit. This is the high voltage control cable that links the two units and provides commands to the high voltage unit. Next, we have the low voltage input that is used for measurements. There are two low voltage measurement inputs to the control box, the red and the blue. The measurement leads are also color coded to match their input colors. Here we have our two interlocks. In this case, one is a foot pedal and the other is the hand switch. It is required that two interlocks be depressed before a power factor measurement can be made. If not, the unit will not start the test and if the interlock is released during a test, the test will immediately be halted. Here we have the power switch for the Delta 4000. This is the Delta 4000's high voltage lead. There is a locking mechanism on the high voltage unit that must be pulled, then the high voltage cable can be inserted. And the locking mechanism may be released locking the high voltage cable into the unit. When in operation, the high voltage cables port will illuminate red, indicating a high, a high voltage on the output. Now we will discuss some of the optional accessories that can be used with the Delta 4000. First is the resonating inductor that may be used to test higher capacitive loads. Next, we have the temperature and relative humidity sensor that can be used with the unit to record those values for the report. And finally, we have the strobe bright light that can be used to alert others that there is a presence of high voltage and that a high voltage test is being conducted. Thanks for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos and tune in for some of our other videos for more information.